just about ready to go. There's the whistle, and we are underway from Protective Stadium. A standalone Sunday in the USL Championship features Birmingham Legion and Detroit City. Crowley brought it down with his chest, flicks it out wide, deep in Awakebo, a bit of space once more. Awakebo cuts it inside, his shot caught a piece of Brett. Not used to seeing Diva Nuegbo shoot from distance. I think he surprised his teammate as well. Kasim, not a bad effort from distance, just a little bit too high. Former Academy products starting to get much more run here over the past couple of months. Colin Smith, lovely from Smith, got the cross away, and it's just yanked wide by Brett. Colin Smith dancing through defenders on the right, and then a great cutback. Ball bounces a little bit right in front of Nico Brett, and maybe that forces him to play it with his left. It somehow misses the target. So another free kick here for the Legion. Kasim drives it at goal, and Steinwasher makes the play. Birmingham staying patient, but pushing numbers forward. Cronali, Enzo Martinez on the turn. Martinez went to ground, penalty given. He splits the defense. It's an excellent pass from Cronali into his feet. It looks like good positioning, but when players go down in the box, referees are forced to make quick decisions. It was a good second touch by Enzo Martinez. Penalty kick brought to you by Stone River, the third in as many games for Birmingham Legion. Nico Brett's two for two, make it three for three. Brett scores Birmingham on the board first here on this Sunday. Calm, cool, collected, and hammers it into the side netting. Excellent penalty kick from Nico Brett. Had a lot of shutouts this season. Today won't be one of them. What they've struggled with is goal scoring. Good effort there from Reese Williams, but couldn't quite keep that in play. But options here for Detroit, perhaps. Williams got the cross all the way across, and it's in. Ben Morris finds the back of the net. What an instant response for Detroit. Giveaway in midfield, ball goes wide, and then it's a great ball behind the defense. Such a big part of Detroit City last year before suffering that torn ACL in July, but rehabbed hard and back into the mix this year. The long ball reaches Steven Nwagbo, Nwagbo trying to shield off Bryant, got hit hard, that's a penalty. Referee points to the spot for the second time in eight minutes. But at the last moment, he just sticks out a foot makes contact, the ball is still in play. No doubt about the contact. It is a foul even though the ball was going to run out. Penalty kick brought to you by Stone River. Enzo Martinez slots it home. Birmingham Legion back in front two to one. Birmingham Legion Two leading scorers on the team. Both getting on the board tonight, both from the spot. Steinwasher has to feel a little frustrated. These long throws are really dangerous. It's a similar situation to a corner kick. It just takes a touch, a flick, anything, and it's dangerous. It's flicked right at Matt Van Okel, who makes the play. It's a big giveaway. Van Okel off his line, can't do anything about that. Ben Morris has his second. 2-2 two, two and a goal-filled first half here at Protective Stadium. Pretty simple chance for Morris to finish. Just has to have the power to get it there, which he clearly does. 
Another chance for Detroit City to push forward almost straight from the kickoff. Williams has space, hounded by Corcoran. Williams still going, still Williams along the pylon and it's tapped in, an own goal off the boot of Fonwell Cavita and Detroit City have their third. Great City, can't believe their luck. Morris does well to get around Matthew Corcoran, but as he lays it back, Fonwell Cavita in the right place, but just taps it into his own net. It is the last bit. There is the halftime whistle, and what a first half it was. Five goals between the two sides in the first 45 plus minutes. So work to do for Birmingham Legion after they led not once but twice in that first half. Good work by Bryant. Got around Mensa. Mensa brought him down. Surely a booking here, and it is. Yellow card brought to you by Rubio Law Firm, the first yellow card caution we've seen. Agadello brings it down. Connects with Deeb and Nwagbo to help Birmingham clear the trouble. And what a turn by Nwagbo. Gets around one, gets around a second, a third perhaps. Under pressure, turning and twirling. But then he's got to get the ball off his foot. Takes on one player too many. Carroll wins that away from Enzo Martinez and was chopped down by Mikey Lopez. That's going to be a booking and a yellow card shown to Mikey Lopez, brought to you by Rubio Law Firm. Lizer. After five goals in the first half, it's been a much quieter second, at least to this point. Good work by Lopez to keep that in play. Taka able to bring it down. Looked like his jersey got tucked, but he got it to Enzo Martinez. Martinez, a big switch all the way across, reaches Nwagbo. Against Bryant again, Nwagbo off the post and across the face of goal. Diagonally cross, he takes it between his legs and then smashes it off the crossbar. Driven bending ball, couldn't have hit this much better. Steinwasher at full extension. Then it looks like he gets maybe clipped by Tibor Ataka as he's sprawling on the ground. Nwagbo centers it, Martinez, Martinez off the woodwork. Enzo Martinez could not have hit the bar any more squarely than he just did. Enzo Martinez with such quick feet brings the game in the second half have hit the bar and one of the posts trying to find an equalizing goal. Brent connects with Tibor Nataka. Itaka around his man, his shot blocked, a second crack, denied by Steinwasher. Centered, Lopez first time has it blocked aside. Waits till the end of this contest. As we have entered the closing stages in a five goal thriller, does it have a sixth goal in it? Nwagbo cuts it back. Nwagbo tries, Steinwasher holds. Martinez to serve it. In swinging service, Crinali, DuPont, just a little bit wide. Ushers it out of play, it's a Birmingham throw. Will that be all? Yes it is. Detroit City come on the road and score three for just the third time this year to take out Birmingham Legion three to two.